You talk about booms or busts now, maybe not quarterbacks, but who could be a bust this year? Stay away from this guy if you're urging the fans that this guy could be a bust. You know, you look back to a Eddie Lacy in 2015, a Trent Richardson, a guy like that. So a running back, a receiver that really just stay away from. Yeah, you know, it's it's tough right now. I, I think the one thing that the preseason is going to allow us to, to look at are some of these red flags of let's pump the brakes and let's not get overly excited. Um, I think some of the younger quarterbacks around the league, Jameis Winston, Marcus Mariota, uh, and the guys that are kind of behind center, those are the offenses that make me the most nervous because there are these unknowns. On top of that, uh, there are some offensive line concerns in Indianapolis, back to San Diego, that have me nervous because your quarterback and your offense can't really flourish when the offensive line woes uh, don't give the quarterback enough time to throw. So, I mean, when you look at those type of situations, I am definitely targeting the younger quarterbacks behind center that make me a little nervous, uh, that could potentially create a trickle-down effect, and those offensive lines because Andrew Luck's coming back. And I want to be this huge Andrew Luck supporter because we saw what he did a few years ago. Now he's kind of cleared house a little bit. Kobe Fleener's down in New Orleans. He's got Dante Moncrief there. The Andre Johnson experiment didn't work. T.Y. Hilton, Dwayne Allen. So everything's lining up for Andrew Luck to have this bounce back year. But the offensive line still makes me nervous, and we really don't know what he has uh, behind him uh, with Frank Gore and then Ferguson, the rookie. So I, I guess if I had to kind of pinpoint somewhere where I'm, I'm really nervous, it's what to make of the Colts in 2016 uh, after we missed Andrew Luck for so much of last year.